In this video, we're going to cover why Nitrocell is just awesome. Okay, but before we get into that, let's talk about a couple of key things here. What are the key success factors for design automation? These are really important, and it really doesn't matter whether you're using Nitrocell or any other system out there. Automation requires a genuine desire to succeed, and it starts with management. Engineering and design levels is not enough. Support must be unwavering and dedicated time to achieve the goals, implement it, and require use are key components to automation success. It also requires a focus on the flow of information. Specifically, why is data needed in the design? How does it need to be delivered or used? And what method will be used to accomplish that goal? If it's done right, automation can capture and reuse core design knowledge New employees are productive faster. You get more design iterations, dramatic reductions in delivery times, like weeks down to hours, autonomous model structures, which means you can take things that as are a result and deliver them to other people without dragging any other dependencies with it. You can dramatically improve item reuse and the PDM and PLM indep uh, independence is another huge factor, meaning you're less sensitive to a specific tool to manage complex relationships. So what is NitroCell? NitroCell was originally developed all the way back in 2004. It was developed to help companies document and leverage their own design knowledge. It was designed to be very easy to learn and very easy to use. It has an extreme focus on enabling engineers, not programmers, and specifically not forcing engineers to become programmers. Engineers can actually do stuff without IT involvement. So why is it awesome? Well, if you look at your standard pro engineer structure and what most people try to do to automate it by using family tables, by using layouts and notebooks, by using uh, pro program and feature to feature relationships, all of that knowledge that's put into the design to automate it becomes buried knowledge, which then is really a pain to administer and maintain and support. What we basically do with NitroCell is we take your design and we enable you to just use Excel to document the design rules, the calculations, the lookup tables, all the things you can't do in Pro-E or Creo, and then selectively target the models that you need to change by just pressing a button. This results in autonomous models and relationships because the Excel knowledge is completely separate from the CAD model information and relationships. So you can kind of keep that knowledge away from getting outside the company or being misused or, or being shared. How does it work? Well, creating design automations is really simple. Basically, you model your design, you document your knowledge, and you test it with NitroCell. When you're testing it, it takes the data from the Excel document, targets the specific models within your design that need to change or be updated, makes those changes, and you're done. When you're finished with the automation and you're happy with it, you can share it with others and allow them to input their requirements into your Excel document, execute the document, which pulls all that information across into your final design, regenerates the design, and produces your results. Those results it's full of autonomous stuff, meaning you can share it with others and not have to worry about the knowledge of how it was created. Those results can then be translated to other places. You can put it into PDM and PLM for version control and lifecycle management. You can deliver it directly to suppliers without having to send any unnecessary data. Or you can do whatever else you want with it. If you want to learn more, start watching our videos. We know you'll love it.